Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Before I start, I'd like to share some important tips. Make sure to check the quality settings on a YouTube player and set it to 720 or higher. Also, expand the play to full screen. This will ensure a clear view of the code and actions demonstrated in the video. Today, I will show you how to set different timeouts in your project. Open the viewer controller file. Cache and request timeouts are configured in the init viewer action. The cache timeout property sets the time in minutes that the server will store the rendered report since the last action of the viewer. The default setting is 10 minutes. The request timeout property sets the time to wait for a response from the server in seconds, after which an error will be generated. The default value is 30 seconds. For large reports, it is recommended to increase this value. Additionally, you may set the timeout for SQL data sources. This timeout is configured in the Get Report action. The command timeout property is defined in seconds. If you found value in this video, kindly pass it along to your peers and be sure to hit the subscribe button for more content.